We continue our coverage on the passing of the founder of the IFP and the traditional Prime Minister to Amazulu King, Mangusutu Ptelezi. Uh, we take you back to Gwapindange uh, in Matlabatini in KwaZulu Natal, where we find our senior reporter, Spamandla Koke. Uh, Spamandla, uh, good afternoon. You're carrying on to getting more reaction. We, we, earlier, you spoke to a number of people who've been coming to the, to the homestead, the, their home, Gwapindange, uh, of the late Mdwana uh, Gwapindange. Um, what have you got for us this hour? Well, there are, you know, back-to-back -back meetings that are underway, a series of meetings. You would understand that uh, you are dealing with a leader here who's got uh, such a complex legacy, a complex history, and uh, right now it's all about the preparations of laying Umdwana to rest. Family members are busy in back-to-back -back meetings. The provincial government is still here. The Premier of Wazuru Ratal, Nomusa Dube Nube, was just here. The Director General of the Provincial Government of Wazuru Ratal, Dr. Nuntlan Lamki, was meeting with the family. Of course, the assumption, which is an open secret, is that when you see the DG, probably she is discussing with the family about the logistics. There are calls for the Prince of Guapindangene to be granted official funeral, or rather an official funeral. It's up to the provincial government to motivate to the presidency, and the presidency or the president will decide what category or which category. But it wouldn't be a surprise if the prince is granted official category funeral one but all of that is still pending at the moment however those discussions have taken place it's just only a matter of time we'll know by tomorrow as to how are the logistics and the preparations going in that regard monas are trickling in leaders of various political parties mainly from the ifp but also members of amazulu royal family and one of them is prince tulani prince has worked a lot with umtuanaga Apologies for that. Uh, we just lost that signal there uh, to uh, Spamandla Koke. Hopefully it will, it will come back. I understand he's back online now. Let's listen. Kwantwala, uzo kumbulu goti umduana 1954 ngeskati e tata lezo skundla kwazi kwa figa ukotwa kwe silo E umdlo kumbane ngo 1971 wa kubega na nesi skunda. Okte umawenzega ukulu ngo mshaka 12 kumashi ngo 2021. E wako na futi siyazu kuti ingo nyame kone slalu njenga manje. Iko na ngenga yake ageko ngazu kutu kubaktua wa engeko. Ngabe isi mosayo so kshali slalu nasbanga biko. Ngako ge kushup kawe no kumelikiniso. Namsha njena ge kuwe umutom kulu esizwe nsama zulu kutu waka kulugazi entu nkulu. Uma upega koke e, la penzi ni ngoba umduana e, ngasosha ngutinuwa sentu nkulu ngobeza lwa umduana umakoko e, gati nuzulu. E, umduana umakoko zalwa ogantu uzwa owae ezala inkosu solomoni. Wae ganyen inkosu solomoni. Ngako ge Uma kukulunyo ngo baba nje besile skukile. Na uma o baba betu. Na uma o mkulu. Be ingane zika mjilu umba anu kuba nengo nyame kona. Uye yetu anje owe silisi nje nga yogwa nguzwa. O obe sele. Nga panjile kumtu anage. Owa ikane oka negwa kuzwa. Obe kwe 200 years. Ogu yeno sesele yetu. Nga kusilimele ka kulu. E, Zinini zindo awazu kutu nga kala apima ukuluma ngomtu anu. Iga kuluga zige. E, nga se uti intlizo ya ke ibiga kulu lapa entu nkulu. Besiti tinu zalelwe ubenze imsebenzi ya sentu nkulu. Njoba eze wakuka umduana epezu wa imsebenzi ya sentu nkulu. Some people are lamenting and complaining about the fact that yes, he departs at a time whereby the royal family is plagued by a number of challenges, disputes and divisions and it would have been ideal for him to depart with all those tensions having been resolved with Zulu Royal House. How deep is the wound and how big is the hole that has been opened by his departure in Lumpur? Likuli ngayeba. Ngogo mnyara ya kumduwa na yukutu alabake. Uwe tumdonga ngayukutu gili. 
kodwa inxebe esele nalo ukubona isimo nokuphithana kwezinto endlunkulu sokhumbula ukuthi isikhundla sobukhosi silokho sikhona sehlisa isithunzi sesizwe sonke ngoba akukukuthula akukubona ngasolinye kodwa nje ngomuntu omdala ebesathu isimbo of unity besicaba ngokuthi uma isephume sibhedlela esesekhaya uzothi mayilulama aphinda ayithathe lengxenye yokuthi abaphinda ababize abantu abenkosi bonke abahlanganise ngoba empeleni angesabu kusho ukuthi njengamanje isilo sisendaweni si, si lapho esizungezwe abantu okungabona ngempela okufana ukuthi ngabe bazizungezile kodwa abanikazi besihlalo beqhelile sinephuphoke lokuthi ngelinye ilanga abanikazi besihlalo okuyibona bakwabo e eh, indlu yonke indlu kabusha nendlu kamdlo kombane bazosondela ngoba ukufika kwabo kuyosho ukuhamba kwabantu mhlambe abanga abangenzi kahle nabaseduze kwesihlalo bese beba nayo indlela yokuthi bakhomba indlela futhi siyethemba ukuthi nasi sile sesihlalweni siyobona ngenye indlela uma ngabe sesihleli naba kwabo eduzane hayi nje ngoba kubenzeka siyethemba ukuthi noma umntwana engasekho asisho thi nanje ngamazulu ukuthi umuntu ufile umoya wakho umntwana usazoba khona eh, uzozenza lezi zinto ukuthi mayihlangana indlunkulu njoba izobiphele lapha nje ngosulwa ngomsombulo sizokukhala eh, uzobe khona ngoko umoya siyethemba ukuthi indlunkulu izogcina ibumbana bese liyaphela leli nxeba okhuluma ngalo koke in your capacity we king the district as you work there with arts and culture do you know if, of anything about amakosi and traditional leaders coming to pay their respects to inkosi yakwakuthelez even though you do not speak for the tra- for, for the house of traditional leaders but umntwana wakaphinda ngene many people forget that we inkosi yakwakuthelez even though he was consumed by his political work but we inkosi any plans for amakosi to come and pay their respects noma ngeke ngikhulume egameni lamakhosi kodwa ngizwile ngandlebenye ukuthi ngosuku lwangomsombulu kwamakhosi azohlangana lapha ya eh kuleli ya garage ethwa kuse em kuse 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 Caltex garage ngesikhathi ka half past 8 abesesuka wonke kamakhosi ekuphukela ngapha ezokhala ngoba eh ngaphandle kwani naye umntwana uza kwabo ngasohla ngothini lwabakhosi futhi uyinqwele yawo amakhosi abefunda kuye ingakho nawe azobe zolethi inyembe zisawo amakhosi ngalo lusuku let's talk about issues of rural development i know umntwana wakaphinda ngene in the late amazulu king umdlokombane they worked together for a very long time even though there were issues at some point between and among them but the issue of rural development and basic services in rural areas particularly in zululand and across the province it's something that they were prioritizing issues of agriculture what is the current monarch going to do to ensure that those issues are taken forward umukhuluma nge rural development into we yona ebilwe lo mdlokombane awukwazi ungakhuluma futhi nangengonyama trust ngoba umntwana uyiqhawe wake wathi ngelinye ilanga umntwana okwaphinda ngene wathi njoba ngimdala ngengaka nje ngingakaphume parliament ngilinde ukuzwa umakhulunywa ngengonyama trust ngoba zase zikhona izinto zokuthi ingonyama trust ingahle kube khona ukuthi e iphele ethi ke ulinde lokho ngoba ilegacy yakhe manje ke kusho ukuthi ukuthuthukisa kwendawo lezi zasemakhaya noma iinkinga isekhona ngoba ngeke singashu ukuthi isekhona iinkinga zesihlalo awukwazi ukukhuluma kakhulu emhlambe wande ngendaba yentuthuko usekhona ukungabambi nokungabonisani kahle ngendaba yesihlalo futhi ke mhlamba ngikho egoge kulelo zinga lokukhuluma njengamanje njengoba angikhuluma egameni lesino Mm-hmm. Let's talk about Ngonyama Trust though he departs at a time whereby there is this uncertainty about the future of Ngonyama Trust board and there have been divisions and tensions regarding the new board of Ngonyama Trust are you worried that moving forward the issue of Ngonyama Trust will become a thorny issue Eh angikho worried kangako kwenze ke simanga mfoka goke ngaphambi nje ukuthi umntwana ahamba esibhedlele gula emva kuba kunezinto ezingamphathanga kahle ngokwengonyama trust esehlulekile imizamo yakhe ayeyenza wabiza umkhosi siyakhumbula amakhosi ebizwe lapha empangeni eh ngomhla ka 26 kujuni waphinda futhi amakhosi abizwa futhi wabiza futhi abantwana lapha na esisha amthetho emakhosini kwabakhona amakhosi akhethwayo 
na kubantu wana wabako na abantu wana baketu wayo la wabantu wana wabaza zintu so zaifana basanga na abantu wana abama kande zintu na makosi kwa sekandwa ik omiti lilektua abaku selbe slalo enga zi uta banya abantu abali izu wakashe ngoba bataze ligile nga aluguti lona komiti lilu elzola yonlinda bayo mshaba futi sinetemba luguti lizo ile lui ngobe ngoba ama kosi pela apete wona uh, uh, apete wona mshaba futi nte ya bai kila kulu mdu wana wapindange ni mainz ngonyama trust wa seti izu elonga albe pansi kwe ngonyama waba kulu kwa kulu loko ngakoge leli komiti la baku selbe slalo lizo ilu alendo ngonyama trust izi pumelele sinetemba has Indlunkulu been officially informed about the passing of Umdwana? I know in terms of protocol, culture and tradition, there has to be a delegation from Gwapindangene to Indlunkulu. Has that report been formally tabled? When the Gile Law Contrubona was a Kulu and Lisa Scatting, the best Nagas Asho Luto, Eminion, Uma Bing Arasogi, by Aguatla Masasha, Kunlukuluka Bini, by Obiga Oxem Tetwin, the Wednesday Gile Law Kobahamba by Obiga. I think that was a call. Prince Tulani Zulu, they're reflecting, you know, on the life and times of Prince Mangosutu Butelezi. Prince Tulani okay. used to be the spokesperson of the Zulu royal family, but he was not speaking in that capacity. I'm joined by the mayor of Zululand District Municipality, Tula Sizwe Butelezi, Mfundis. <coughs> You are one of the very first young leaders to work for a very long time with Prince Mangosu Tugutelezi. Never mind that he is family to you. But I mean to you, what have you learned from him? What will be his legacy? Mm. Uh, Prince Mangosu Tugutelezi was a towering giant of the struggle. But at a personal level, he was my mentor since the year 2001 when we launched the student's wing at the University of Cape Town. And I was the first branch chairperson of Sadesmo. From then on, I went on to lead the IFP Youth Brigade. And for more than 20 years, I've been a member of the IFP National Council, where at close range, I was able to observe the type of leader that Prince Butelezi was. He led from the front, but more importantly, he believed in the youth and gave the youth opportunities. I am a product of his leadership, and today, as we bid him farewell, um, it's a dark day for South Africa. Okay, we're going to have to leave it there. That conversation there between Spamadla Koke and one of the members of the relatives of uh, Butelezi, Mangosu Butelezi there, those are some visuals we're showing you of the man in action in the past. We are